What's up everybody, Jose Ortiz here again with PetRockMedia.com and today we're checking out what's in the gaming news with this week's episode of the Pet Rock Gaming Report. Let's take a look. Okay, let's dive right into a little bit of Xbox news. Are you still in the market for an Xbox One X? Well, currently Dell is offering a $100 Dell gift card with any purchase of an Xbox One X. Now again, the gift card is only for Dell products. However, it is $100 that you can utilize towards an additional Dell purchase. Now there's one caveat to this, is that the gift card must be redeemed within 90 days of the purchase. You should get it electronically about 20 days after, but you must redeem it within 90 days after you receive that gift card. But if you do regularly buy things from Dell.com, then this is awesome. You can get an Xbox One X for the $500 and you get a $100 gift card from Dell directly pretty much for free after purchasing the, the system. Now on that note also, don't forget that Microsoft is throwing in a free copy of PUBG if you do decide to purchase an Xbox One X. Now some other news for Xbox, there's been a little bit of buzz going on around Halo 6 and the team at 343 Studios and whether or not anything's gonna be announced soon. Now, a lot of the rumors state that it will probably be E3, which is this summer, where they make that announcement. However, you never know, so keep an eye out on social medias and keep an eye here on Pet Rock Media, and I will definitely break that news once I hear something. So if you're new to this channel, first and foremost, welcome. Second, hit that subscribe button. It's free, and you'll be notified each and every time I post a video if you click on that little bell icon, and you'll know when I know about anything Xbox related. Now, continuing on with Xbox, March is gonna be here this week. This coming Thursday is March the 1st, and in the month of March, Xbox is going to be releasing one of their highly touted games, Sea of Thieves. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because with Microsoft's Game Pass subscription, which is their version of a Netflix style subscription based model for their games, this game is going to be available on launch through this system. So it's $10 a month and there is a slew of video games that you can select from, download and play. And this is gonna be Microsoft's huge dive into their service by offering this highly touted game release on their service. Now, it's not only gonna be offered on there, you can still purchase a physical copy. However, if you subscribe to that particular game subscription service, Xbox Game Pass, then that game is gonna be available for download on launch day, which launches on March the 20th. Now, starting March the 1st, some new games that are gonna drop on that system are Rise of the Tomb Raider, Super Lucky's Tale, Resident Evil Revelations 2, Oxen Free and one of my personal favorite classic games, Sonic CD. Now for right now, we do not have any information for you PlayStation users on what games are gonna be made available this coming March. Now Sony plans to unveil these March 28th, this coming Wednesday. So whether you love or hate Sony, they are waiting to the last possible minute. So this coming Wednesday, they're gonna release the list of games that you can now have if you are a PlayStation Plus member. Now, according to a lot of sites, this is set to be some of their best games yet. So if you are a PlayStation Plus member, keep an eye out on this channel as well as the internet and you will be notified of those great games you can take advantage of for the month of March. Now for you Nintendo Switch owners, if you have not dived into Breath of the Wild, the Zelda game, right now it is on sale for $45. Now I'm gonna post a link down below, that's courtesy of Kotaku and Kinja Deal's websites. However, it did go fast when it first was announced last week on Friday, but it's now been updated again for that $45 price mark. So if you've been waiting to dive into that game, which I highly, highly recommend, it's one of my all time games for the Switch, now is gonna be the time to get into that game. And it is an amazing, amazing storyline. You will not be disappointed. Now also going along on the Switch, the 27th is going to launch Payday 2 for the Nintendo Switch. So if you're a Switch owner and you've never played Payday, now is gonna be the time to dive into that with Payday 2, which was just released on February 27th, 2018. The reviews are mixed right now. However, if you are a fan of the franchise, now you'll be able to take it portably with your Switch. Now for me, this shows confidence in the Switch by third-party developers. This tells me that they are really, really, really wanting to make and port over their games for the Switch. And that for me as a Switch owner makes me very happy to see the potential and the amount of games that are potentially coming to the Switch. 
But that about wraps it up, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below about this week's episode of the news. It was a little light, but there were some really, really, really good gems worth of information in there. Again, if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon so you are notified each and every time that I post a video or go live. I will be continuing my playthrough of the original uh, Halo Combat Evolved. If you have not seen that, I'll link the latest two episodes down below. Great, great times over there on the live streams. We average about six or seven people, sometimes up to ten. So it's a great, great time over there. Be sure you check that out. I will hopefully, hopefully be doing a couple more on this channel before the end of this week. So don't forget to hit that little bell so you're notified each and every time I go live. But once again, guys, I just wanted to bring you the news of this week. This is Jose Ortiz from PetRockMedia.com signing out. Peace.